everybody and we're back it's another match experience today i am off to fulham um fulham versus leeds so it means i'm going to get a load of rubbish about me cursing leeds so in all honesty um i quite like leeds to win and for that to be an end of it um we're in christmas zone here it's coming up to around midday i've just got out of the shower but oh my god i'm just going to come into the bedroom and What time is it, Shaylee? 9am. 9am. Shaylee, you're still in bed at midday. What are you doing? No. Right, so she's not going to... You've got to go and collect the dogs. Okay. She's not going to move all day, so that's all you're going to get from the illustrious Shaylee in the vlog. Shaylee, who's going to win out of Fulham and Leeds in London? Fulham. Fulham, oh, don't say that, God out of the house at five past twelve not not a bad effort look i've worked an eight week term in my job and i really did deserve that sleeping and i might have had a few adult beverages last night i'm chilled this is going to be a good good fun day um a little bit about the game it's fulham and leeds leeds in great form nearly um hit an eighth straight win in the last game um inexplicably came from 3-0 up for a 3-3 draw in the end, but they're still in brilliant form. And if they win today, they'll be on 50 points for half a season, which is just incredible. And obviously you roll that out over the second half, that's a hundred points and a brilliant total. Fulham on the other hand is an interesting one because um, they lost three games on the trot. And there's just this um, thing with the Fulham fans and Scott Parker where um, there's a feeling that given the level of squad that he has and you know those big lone players Caballero, um, Nockart and Arta um, aligned with Mitrovic and Kearney that they should really not be losing three games in a week and should be in with at least challenge for the automatic look they could still do it in the playoffs obviously um, but that can you know anything can happen in the playoffs can't you get red card after two minutes of the first leg and um, bad things may happen so um, yeah they're a long way off an automatic challenge so for them today could be the day where um, they start to claw it back. I found a pretty good parking space um, as you can see I was saying how what a lovely day it was in Bedfordshire getting a little bit of a rainstorm here down by the River Thames um, so it's 1.57 which means the teams will be out in about three minutes so I will sit tight here. God, it's pissing it down. You see that? Yeah, maybe sit tight for a bit more than three minutes. So um, my nicely washed hair, which I can't sort this bit out of the front out. I'll have a little go at that in a minute. Um, doesn't get ruined by the rain. I'm ready to run. And I've got the Russian hat, if the worst happens. Right, we've made it to um, Fulham. And always nice to see a friend of the channel. This is Will, who has got his colours to the mast here. Um, Fulham fan, just outside the ground. Um, Will, you had a horrible week last week. Um, 0 0.3 game week. And it's getting to the point now, even before even January, whereby if you, if you kind of lose this one, it almost looks like... Um, it's automatics for Leeds and West Brom and yeah. playoffs at best for you. Um, what's the feeling with um, Parker and um, how this is all panning out? Um, today I just want to see a passionate performance. The last few weeks has been passive. It's been, we've been, we let Brentford roll over us in a derby game, unacceptable. Preston and Bristol City the weeks before. I like Parker, he's been here a while. He's been here since 2013 as a player and a coach and our manager. Uh, he's a nice guy, but the chips are down right now. And if he doesn't respond in the next few weeks with some pretty big games today and then looting on Boxing Day, we need three points today and on Boxing Day. And going into the new year, if we want to even mount a challenge for the automatics, which is looking unlikely already, otherwise, TikTok, time's up, Parker. I can give you one guarantee though, 1st of January, Leeds are playing West Brom, so at least one of them will drop some, <laughs> drop some points down there. But yeah. from the neutral, um, Mitrovic, Kearney, Phillips, Hernandez, Costa, all on the same pitch today. This is going to be good at least, isn't it? Eh? It's going to be a cracking game, cracking one for the neutral like yourself. 
Um, surprised to not see it on Sky Sports really, but maybe nice to see. Oh, come on, Leeds are on every other amazing, week, aren't they? Yeah, <laughs> so it's nice to see a, a 3 pm Leeds game for once. But no, it's going to be a cracking game. We're looking forward to it. Common Whites. Really weird here at Fulham now. They've actually knocked the stand completely over the other side. So a bit of a strange atmosphere. Let's do the Fulham post test and see how lucky I'm going to be with the goal. So this end absolutely fine. And I think, yes, we are okay there. for the penalty, Mitrovic steps up right footed, puts it in off the post I think, Leeds have already lost Hernandez, really bad start. Half time here at Fulham, Fulham leading 1-0 over Leeds, Leeds lose Hernandez after 30 seconds, Fulham take the lead from a pen after about five minutes, Mitrovic puts it in, I think White pulls down uh, Bobby Reed in the box. Um, interestingly poised, bit of a role reversal for Fulham who are hitting Mitrovic and then basically playing off him. Leads with most of the possession, but that vital stat goes against them. Um, Dallas did hit the post around the sort of um, 30 minute mark, but Fulham pretty good for it. A um, couple of really good battles going on. Um, White against Mitrovic is a great watch. And Kenny and Phillips playing in the same area. At the moment, um, Fulham winning those two battles. If that changes in the second half, we might see a Leeds comeback. Probably missing Hernandez a little bit though in the midfield. Let's see how this pans out. One one here, 53 minutes gone. Alioski slid it through. It was Enketia just on side, I think. Hits it across, cross shot, parried out by Rodak and slipped in by Bamford from point blank range. One one. Two one. Fulham. Corner goes in. Um, up in the air, Mitrovic tries to overhead kick it, falls to Josh Onema, absolutely lashes it in with his right foot. Fulham had just responded quite well to the Leeds equaliser and they've gone 2-1 in front. Yeah! Get the win, 2-1. The Leeds curse continues, just heading back to the car. Now ready for the review. And we are on the way home. It's 10 past six. I tried to do a clever little weendy windy thing out of the ground here and it worked up to a point, but now I'm all stuck trying to get out of um, Hammersmith and Fulham or wherever, whichever way it's taken me. Now it looks like we are go though. Um, the game ended 2-1 to Fulham. Uh, video all ready up. Um, Already getting some lovely comments from the Leeds fans about me being a curse. I will repeat for the hundredth time. It's not my fault. It's not my fault at all. Your best player went off after 30 seconds and you got a dodgy penalty um, given against you five minutes later. Um, can't be my fault, can it? Dear me. It took me forever to get out of London. I've come around the M25. I'm most of the way on the um, M1. Oh, we're back. And the dogs are really happy to see me. Let's see if we can get in with Nessie. Oh, and Arlo. Um, it's 7.49, Shaylee's here, but she doesn't want to be. Why don't you want to be in, Shaylee? Because I look like a stinker. Don't run away from me, I'm trying to get good sound. Oh. You look like a stinker. You yeah. look like you smell. I look like I That's do terrible. when I was in bed 10 hours ago. Am I in the doghouse? What time did I say I would be back? Seven. Seven. What time is it now? Seven forty-nine. So, am I in the doghouse? No, but I've got all of the gusto dinner ready, oh, this looks ready nice. for you, ready for you to make. <laughs> oh, I'm gonna kick it, am I? Um, I need I need a bit of advice from you. Mm. 
Um, who won? Well, you tell me who won. Please say Mil uh, not Mil <laughs> Fulham. Yeah, Fulham won. Of course they did. Right, have you got any words for the Leeds United fans? First of all, remember there are like billions of them. <laughs> They're literally everywhere. <laughs> who seem to think that it's my fault that they always um, all lose. All I will say is a lot of things are your fault. <laughs> so. <laughs> okay, it's so, quite like you. so the Leeds curse is real. It is all my fault. You can... No, I won't put you in it. Um, <laughs> but yeah, so... Yeah, Leeds lost. Fulham won, 2-1. Apparently it's my fault. And I'm in trouble to the extent that I now have to make this... Nut roast. ...into this. That is exactly how that is going to look. Um, hope you've enjoyed the match experience today down at lovely Fulham. Um, I'm trying to think what content we'll have. We'll do um, the big review tomorrow. That'll be a live stream. I'm saying tomorrow. That'll be the day that this comes out. So check out Sunday. Sunday evening probably for the live stream. Um, I don't know what the game is tomorrow. We'll try and catch that. But then um, we're just going to chill and eat lots and drink like Shady, right? Yeah. Why not? Yeah. Sounds like the plan, doesn't it? Um, Got something special planned for Boxing Day as well. Look out for that. That's going to be a double um, match experience because obviously when I tried that before, I nearly killed myself through tiredness. Um, I thought it'd be a fun thing to do again. So Benjamin Bloom on Twitter. Um, come and say hello there. I had a couple of Fulham fans come and say hello to me today. To be honest, I tried to avoid the Leeds um, lot today just in case one of them punched me um, and properly put me out of contention to watch league games. Um, Shaley wants you to see her Christmas tree, um, which has a unicorn balloon by it. That's Not very nice. exciting. Um, our next big birthdays um, will be old enough to not justify having unicorn, unicorn balloons. Um, anyway, I'm getting very rambly. Subscribe, ring the bell, can support monetarily on patreon.com slash Benjamin Bloom. Let's turn this rubbish into a meal um, and see you next week for more content. Say bye, Shaley. Bye, Shaley. Over and out.